a big part of running is people, you know, view each other based on how you run. And there's a lot of pressure and expectations based on singular performances. It's hard emotionally being like, oh, you're only as good as what you just did. You want to be able to perform and you want to be competitive. You got to understand that people are going to judge you based on your performances. It's just a comfort thing. The more you're going to be at a national meet, the more you're going to feel comfortable in a national situation and the nerves will be there, but it won't be as much. And all of that comes with experience and just getting out there and doing it more. Being at USA's, you want to make sure you make it every year. Um, you want to make sure you're at that level every year. Running's hard and only one person wins and a lot of people go to race. So you can't be devastated after every race. been a busy summer and we've all kind of been spread out but we're starting to come back to flag now and uh, regroup for next year. <laughs> this summer was a really positive step forward for me. I think this year in general has been really good um, all the way back to making my first world team indoors. I think that kind of set the tone for a really good year. I was able to run some PRs, feel like I belong to this level which is something that I've been uh, looking to achieve for a while so yeah I'm really pleased with how the summer went. I've only ever been in flag when things are 100% like train, 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 recover, recover, recover and it, it's a little bit of a weird uh, dynamic to be here and then not to be a lot on the schedule, just to actually enjoy flag. To be able to be back here and spending time with friends and, and people on the team, it's exciting. I kind of had a struggle fest over the last few months just feeling fairly fatigued, but I finally was able to get out of it, just listening to my body, running my own pace. I've made a couple of USAs. Like I had been injured like the last few years before I moved up here. And so getting back to that level has been tough. Having the team here is super helpful. It kind of keeps you motivated. Everyone being on the same page of when they come into practice, working hard. It's a lot more fun than doing it by yourself for sure. With so many new people on the team, I think it's interesting to see how people handle training from person to person. Well, we have people at 100 miles a week, people at almost zero miles a week. This year I'm doing something a little bit different than what I've done in the past. I'm aiming to run the New York City Marathon on November 6th and then try to double back and run the California International Marathon on December 4th. So just four weeks between them. I've never done a double back-to-back -back that close before, but I've seen other people do it. And at this point in my career, um, I'm 34, so I kind of figure, you know, if I'm gonna start trying some new things, now's the time while I've, while I've still hopefully got some youth in my legs. Anytime you can watch your friends and teammates compete in USA's, anyone in, you know, world championship marathons, uh, world championship track events, dig deep and, and achieve things that they've been striving for. Um, it's just a, I don't know, I think that's a, it's a really motivating and kind of special thing to watch. Being able to think back on those and draw on those in your own training and your own racing, um, I think is one of the things that makes being part of a team, you know, a really special dynamic. You come in like in the fall, you know, sort of like September, October, and everyone's here, everyone's training together and getting excited for the new year is really positive and hopefully we can get some good momentum going in this first month or so and um, yeah it leads to some good things. Our biggest goal is just no injuries this fall and just great training blocks to set everybody up for a good indoor season which I think leads to a good outdoor season so yeah just focus on health and, and training and you know having fun with it I guess. Every runner has in the back of their head uh, you want to be at your national meet. You want to make it back there. Yeah, that's that's already on the, on the schedule of where I want to be back, competing at that level. I would like to do the um, 5K road champs. I've never made a U.S. team, and that would be really great too. I just want to make uh, the World Championships uh, next year in Budapest. I've been very close to top 10 at World Marathon Majors a uh, number of times, but I have not actually achieved that yet. So um, one big goal is top 10 at New York City. We're an ambitious team of people who want to be really good and, and everyone out here is just willing to train hard and come out here and, and put in work on the roads and put in work on the trails and it doesn't feel as much like you're actually doing a job or doing work. You're just going out and enjoying it and 
you know, the fitness comes that way when you just, you love what you're doing and you're doing it a lot.